friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the March BoxyCharm unboxings for 2020. Ah! If you are new here or you just can't remember how I do my BoxyCharm unboxings, hi my name is Nicole and I have a twist on how I do so many of uh, my BoxyCharm videos. My BoxyCharm videos are very special to me. So yes, I let you know what I got in all three of my boxes and I do long wear tests for you. I try all the products on, or as many as I can, especially when you get three boxes in one month. But then I go a step deeper, and I go online to let you know what other actual users of these products are saying. Because sometimes what I say, what works for me, doesn't work for everyone, or vice versa. Sometimes an oily skin girl can make stuff work that a dry skin girl can't. So it's so nice to have a lot of variety in these reviews, and I always do the best I can to give you the most information possible. And and just as I had a cherry on top, I also do a monthly giveaway, and this month is definitely no exception. I have a pretty hefty giveaway that I'm going to be getting into in this video. So if you are new here, hit that subscribe bell so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest about BoxyCharm, because I also do quarterly reviews, a lot of different faves and fails, so many great things with BoxyCharm. Let's just get in. So since I do my videos a little differently than everyone else, let me tell you what I do have in front of me. I have a base box from BoxyCharm. That is my PR box that I get every month and I love. And this month, this is like the first time I've ever experiencing this. I also got the premium box and my boxy lux. I've been getting boxy lux a while, but this is my first premium box and as many of you know, it is the Fenty box. So lots to get through. This is gonna be a longer video probably than most. So get a tea, get a snack, get a blankie, get comfy because we are jumping right in. If you are unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, the base box is $25 a month and it has $125 value, which is crazy exciting. They also have other options like I have mentioned before, like I just got the premium box and the Boxy Lux, which is a quarterly box. I'll have more information in the description box below. A lot of you have also been following me and tagging me on Instagram with a lot of stuff. So just a quick little note, if you tag me watching my videos on Instagram, I will be sharing that in my stories because you guys are so sweet to do that. Thank you. So the first boxes that arrived at my door were the base box and my premium box. I got those the same day. And then as luck would have it, the very next day, I got my boxy luck. So I could talk about all three of these in this video. So let's start with the base box. I have some things that I have already tried and worn and some things that are be going into my monthly giveaway. So let's start there. The base box is actually a huge box this month. I really thought that they accidentally sent me two premium boxes because they're the same size. But once I opened this, I did see that it is the base box. This is a very edgy box, according to the card. I was not expecting to get this because I think this was an option with the boxy Lux that we got to pick the previous month because I knew I had selected, as I let you guys know in my Instagram stories, an eyeshadow palette that I was really excited about. So I knew I wasn't gonna be getting a hair tool in my boxy Lux. So I was really excited in my base box to get that same hair tool. This is the Sutra Beauty Mini Ceramic Curling Iron with a cooling tip 19 millimeters. Um, I got the pastel yellow and I was really excited to see that because a lot of you know I got a blow dryer from Boxy Lux last year. It was from YPT, a different brand I think, but I love, love that blow dryer. So. I really kind of trust some of the stuff they've been sending us for hair care because that's kind of a newer thing for BoxyCharm. I've been with them a while. Oh, look how cute this is. I mean, I love how compact this is. The mini blow dryers and, oh, I think I also have a mini straightener. I do from this brand. I really like it. And if you are new here, you may or may not know, I also, yes, do beauty videos, but I also do it from my tiny house. I live in a tiny house on wheels, like the kind you see on HGTV. Real estate in my storage is huge. And I think I've had one curling iron forever that is in the bathroom that I honestly haven't touched in a while. So I'm really excited to play with this to see if I like it as much as I've liked all the other things that I've gotten from Boxy Lux as far as hair care tools go. 
Oh, I like that you have a little finger hold here too, and there's a cooling end to it, so when you're wrapping your hair around it, you can hold on to the end. That is nice. This is unfortunately something I have not tried. Usually by now I would have tried this, but I just went last night and got a fresh haircut and blowout, and you know when someone else does it for you, it always looks 10 times better, so you don't wanna wash your hair immediately to mess with it. So I will be trying this, and if you are new here, I do quarterly BoxyCharm reviews where I give you an in-depth, longer wear review you so this will definitely be in my upcoming quarterly boxy charm review so be subscribed hit the bell so you don't miss out but let's see what other people are saying about this tool i'm really excited to have it tammy g says i just got my curling iron from you guys and i think it is wonderful i'm in b said it works just fine five hearts lacy c said i have this from a previous box and it does not curl my hair at all michelle g says amazing size and it leaves my curls nice Clarissa F says, works pretty well for being so small. Krishna B says, did not get this, but that's okay, because I really don't like curling irons that don't hold on to my hair, because this one does not have a clamp. If you're used to like an old school curler, it doesn't have the clamps, so you would have to hold it like this, and then just hold on to a piece of hair, let it kind of sit there for a few seconds, and then, you know, let it go, drop it. But that's how you curl your hair with these, if you're not sure. Maria S. says, not happy with this item. It is too small to curl my hair. It takes way too long. I have a lot of hair too, and I haven't tried this yet, so stay tuned when I do get a chance to try this for you. This is probably more for touch-ups in my mind, or travel. Like I said, I don't curl my hair a ton. I do have a curling wand in the bathroom that I haven't touched in a while, so this may just replace that for me for touch-ups. But yeah, I haven't done a lot of hair curling. My hair's naturally wavy curly, so we shall see. Tell me, did you get this and have you tried it yet? This is a $50 product, so I am excited to try this and see how I feel about it. Ooh, the next thing I got, I am in love with already. We got something similar to this last year, I think, but this is a new version of it. This is the Very Cherry Clean from Pharmacy. This is the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I have already used this, and what I like about this version is that it has a little holder on top here with a little spatula. What you do is you take the lid off, and then if you have nails, or even if you don't have nails, but you don't wanna use your fingers, and it keeps the product more clean, you just kinda of scoop in here, and it looks like a very like solid product at the moment, but as soon as it gets on this and on your face, it just melts, like in the name, and it melts off any kind of makeup you have. We're talking serious eyeliner. We're talking serious red lips. This stuff takes everything off. And I had just told you guys in a previous BoxyCharm video where I was doing an update on my products, because I do that here, I'm almost done with the Pharmacy Green Clean that we got from the last time we got something like this. I'm almost done with it, and I was like, I need to buy this again. And now I don't have to. Thank you, BoxyCharm, you're so good to me. This Pharmacy Beauty Very Cherry Clean Cleansing Balm is $34. I even like the scent of this, and fun fact about Nicole, I don't like cherry flavored, cherry scented things usually. I was surprised that I even liked the scent to this. I think this has worked really great. I've used a product similar to this before. I've already used this. I like the uh, spatula edition, and this is definitely heftier. I feel like this is bigger than the last one. This is 3.4 fluid ounces. Yay us. Let me tell you what other people are saying online about it. I can already tell you I love it. It gets so much stuff off my face really quickly. Okay, so with the good, sometimes you get the bad, and there are people out there that just want makeup from their makeup subscriptions. I get that. Melinda J says, more makeup please, in all caps. Jacqueline S says, not something I would use. Didn't even bother to try it, said Sonia. Please try it. If you are a makeup lover, you'd be really surprised how gently this just lifts makeup off your face. Because as important as makeup is putting on your face, because we love it and it's just something that makes us feel good, you want your skin to look good even though you wear maybe a lot of makeup. At the end of the day, these kind of things really do help your canvas, your face to stay fresh and beautiful for your makeup the next day. Ashley Y says, great product. I am so excited to use this. Marianne C feels me on this. She just said, took my makeup off smooth and felt great. It also smells good. Laura M said, oh my gosh, I am ecstatic to get this. I love this stuff and I love pharmacy. Me too. I was introduced to pharmacy through BoxyCharm, so I was so excited when this was coming in the box because I knew I really liked these. Virginia M said, this is my first face balm ever. 
and I love it. The smell is amazing. It's thick, which means you only need a little, so this will last you a long time. And when you put it on, it goes on clear and it just melts. This is so soft, she says. So she loves this. She had never tried anything like it. And when I was first introduced to it, I was like, what is this product? What? It's just like melting in my hand. It goes from a solid to like a very malleable liquid practically in front of you. It's amazing. The other thing that I received in my base box was the Becca Glow Gloss. Illuminate your lips with a luxe conditioning lip color that combines shine of a gloss and nourishing benefits of a balm. The one I got is... The one I got is a camellia color where it's like this really bold pink. I'm just going to put it on over what I got going because why not? But it's pretty Barbie pink it feels, but then it kind of like shears out a little. Got a lot of different lippies on, but that's okay. I actually wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this when I saw that it was like this Pepto-Bismol pink tone in the tube. But once I put it on, I was going to be open-minded to it because this is kind of a fun spring color and it is right around the corner. I am so excited for some spring. I have to tell you, the first thing I noticed about this gloss smells like a thin mint you could tell it's girl scout season when it's like the first thing i think of is a cookie not an actual mint i got problems whatever not sorry smells like a thin mint i have this layered up now on three different coats so it's kind of hard to tell but i do have some footage of me trying this on originally and i thought it looked really good then too so i'm definitely going to keep this in my rotation let's see what people are saying online Oh, it looks like there are like eight different shades this could come in. So I'm not sure what shades are totally out there. I just see names. I guess I would have preferred something a little bit more neutral so I could use it longer. But, you know, that's all right. So Stephanie Z gave this only three hearts. And she says, love the brand and gloss, but the color sent to me was horrible. How did I know that was coming? A burgundy gloss, Dahlia. So far, this box has been the worst one, unfortunately, and I love BoxyCharm. Kylie said loves the color she got. She said, I love the color champagne cream. I love Becca and I love this lip gloss. It's minty and not sticky at all. I do agree. I have it on now, even with another gloss, and it is not sticky. Nothing's pulling. I do like that. Angelina, not my color at all. Crystal. Shade is not for me, but goes on nice and doesn't smell weird. Ashley C said, I got this in Tiger Lily. It's a bold color and really good quality for a gloss. I'm starting to see a trend. Karina K said, bold color, good quality. Lacey K said, okay, lip gloss, just not my favorite color. A lot of people are liking the gloss and the formula. They're just really not appreciating the colors they're getting. So that happens with subscription boxes sometimes. I'm going to keep using this and let you know in an upcoming video, maybe even a faves and fails really soon to let you know what I think about this a little bit more in depth. The next two items are definitely in my giveaway. I already have something like this from a box I got at the end of last year. So what I already have, I'm going to be sharing with you guys. This is Spongile, a French lavender body wash infused buffer. This is going in a giveaway for you because I've already tried this and I like it. The next thing that's going to be going in my giveaway, I thought about hanging on to, but then I realized I got four eyeshadow palettes this month out of these three boxes. Four. My face can only hold so many shadows. And the reality is, is you already know my eyeshadow game is strong in this tiny house. So I need to give because I can't keep getting everything. And next month there's even more coming. You never know. So let's just, let's just, let's tell you what you get. This is the Hank and Henry eyeshadow palette. This packaging is definitely giving me some throwback vibes to like in living color and some 90s stuff. This is called the living in color palette. And here it is in all of its glory. You get a nice little mirror and some really beautiful shades. Definitely have some shimmers and mattes in here. This is going to be going in a giveaway to you guys. I watched a couple of YouTube videos on people with just the base box. And a lot of people liked this shadow and they were really impressed with the shimmers. And if you are newer here and you're not sure how my giveaways work, they're super easy. Be subscribed, comment below in this video why you want this box. And for a second entry, go over to my Instagram, follow me there, like and comment on the post from today about BoxyCharm, and then you're entered. Really quickly though, if you do not have Instagram, you're not going to be putting in your Instagram account or following me over there. Be sure to let me know a better way to get in touch with you because YouTube makes it really hard to reach out to you guys on this platform. So if you have a Twitter, a Facebook, an Instagram, let me know. You could even give me your email if you want to. As I mentioned before, the premium box and the base box looked very, very similar until you open it. When you open the premium box, the packaging gets real Fenty serious real 
quick. There's even a Fenty base to the bottom of this box. So they went all out for the packaging for this. This is like the first time I feel like they've done something like extra zhuzhy. That it's all a dedicated one brand box. It's kind of exciting. I can't lie to you. This is the box I was really, really excited for. And I was all in because as soon as I got some of my other eyeshadow palettes yesterday, I was doing multiple looks. So yesterday I had two different eyeshadow looks going. Today I have a different one going because I was trying all the eyeshadow palettes, all the makeup I could. Oh my goodness. The first thing listed at the top of the Fenty card right here. And yes, they even did a fancy card for this. The first thing I saw when I opened was something I'd heard about. And I think this may have been in an anti-haul for me at one point. I don't even know. I may have to go back and look at my old footage. This is the highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. Oh my goodness. You could see this from space. This is a long wear cream powder highlighter in this gold shade. The theme of this box I felt like was very much kind of on trend for 2020 because gold seems to be making a huge appearance this year in 2020. I feel like it's kind of been like working its way into the scene for a little bit now. So I couldn't believe when I opened this how pretty it looked and then I put it on my finger and I was like holy moly. Like, can you see this ridiculousness? Oh my gosh. And the first thing, like the grown up brain in you goes, oh my gosh, gold highlighter. Am I going to wear this? Is it too dark for me? And then the child that loves makeup in me was just like, who cares? Put it on your face. So before I was even on camera, I put it on my lids. I put it on my cheeks. I put it on my body. I had no shame in my gold game. None at all. I really love the feel of this. I can't believe how buttery it feels and how nicely things apply it's just like seamless and you could keep going this back and forth like I am and kind of wearing it down a bit so it does have some sparkles to it and if you're not a sparkle girl that could bug you for me it just kind of depends on what mood I'm in but I think this is really pretty so the first day I wore this I used a regular highlighting brush like I usually would that I would use with my Becca my Ofra my more skin colored highlighters and I thought this applied really well and it lasted forever like it was like halfway through the day I even did check-ins the other day when I was trying all this Fenty makeup for you because I wanted you to know how things wore down how they faded through the day or if they did or not and I can tell you that the highlighter looked pretty darn popping still later in the day like it was still very much a zhuzh moment right there but it was very concentrated. It seemed like to almost have a little bit of a streak on my face. Sometimes that's cool. Sometimes I don't know how I vibe with that. So today I mixed it up and I went with a different type of brush for this. I went in with my Luxie 516 Duo Fiber Powder Brush. Do you see how it's kind of like more of a stippled top up here? It's not so compact. I dipped into this and then lightly just like spread it across the top of my cheekbone and it looks really nice. I feel like this is how I would wear this highlighter more because if you think about it, gold highlighter can kind of draw away from the rest of your makeup if you're looking for more of a more natural look. I get that. So if you're wanting something that just gives you that dusting of like gold, but I also loved this on my eyes. I thought it looked really pretty. I have so many eyeshadow palettes though. I, I almost put this on my eyes again today for you to show you, but four eyeshadow palettes, a lot to get through. You have to work with me on this. Stay tuned and be subscribed for a new video in the future where I use even more of these products in different ways. So Miranda V also got the premium box and we're all getting the same stuff in the premium box, I do believe. And she says, it is a really pretty gold, but with my light complexion, there is no way I can use this as a highlighter. I was disappointed in this box, sadly try using it other ways. It looks gorgeous on the lids and golds are making a moment this year. So don't get rid of this yet. Hang on to it. Look on Instagram, kind of do some like hashtag gold eyes or gold makeup. I don't know. Find what works for you. But gold may not be your thing. Maybe you're a white gold girl. I feel that. Chastity D said, my favorite highlighter. Christy K said, this is a beautiful highlighter. Not for everyday use, however, at least for me, but I love it. I feel great and it has lots of sparkle. I do agree with that. I can tell you I went to the doctor after having this and I didn't put it on intentionally when I was kind of going out because it was from my first impression of it very gold streak on my face. But I can say with a diffused brush where it's more widespread, fluffier, it will be more of like this glowy golden 
sparkle highlight, icing highlight, where it's not totally intense, it's more diffused and less of a streak if you use something like this. Angelica C said, used as an eyelid highlighter and it is very pretty. I might use this even more in the summertime. Oh, for sure. Oh, I almost forgot. A second way I put this on today, silly me, under my eyes. As you can tell, I have a pop of green underneath my eyes here from one of the many eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna be talking about today. But I wanted to give it a little bit more gold oomph because gold is very present in these boxes right now. So I did put this with a packed flat brush under my eye on top of this green shade and I think it just added that little something extra to it. I think it looks really nice and it's fun. I'm feeling summer already. Let's get to it summer. Yasmeen L said, when I saw the color, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to use this, but once I tried it, wow. It is so pretty and actually goes with my skin tone better than I thought. This is my new fave. Darian N said, it is so beautiful. The color is nice. The texture is also amazing. It is. I'm gonna keep playing with this and seeing what all I can do with it. I almost, when like the grown up brain in me was like, you're not gonna use this all the time. No, but it's still fun and I wanna play. I keep talking about all these eyeshadow palettes that I had to use, so let's jump into the Fenty eyeshadow palette that I did receive. This is the Moroccan Spice Palette. The shade names are on the back here and on the front. It is this beautiful jewel-looking packaging, yes. Now, it is a little tricky for me to open because it's like adult packaging, like I need a grown-up. But then once I do get it open, it is really, really pretty. And I did not think I was going to be getting this Fenty Premium box when I kind of had a sneak peek of this going around on the internet. So I didn't even like look at it honestly, but once I got approved for the Premium, I was shocked and I was so excited to play with these. I put these on yesterday and a little bit today because I just had to keep playing with more makeup because why not? I really enjoyed these. I jumped into the matte shades first, kind of built up a crease, did the outer corner work. And I really wanted to play with as much as I could. So I also kind of just delved into a few shades here, did some highlight with the shimmer shades on my lid, and I was just in love. I thought this did a really good job. I do think about, I don't know, maybe six hours in the day when I did a check-in, I thought it maybe had worn down a bit, but it never looked patchy, it never skipped. It blended really beautifully in my crease and on my eye, and then I had to go in for a second look later in the day because I was just like, I need to know more about all these palettes that I got. Really pretty, I'm really liking how these apply, how they last, how they blend, how they marry with other shadows, because today I even have on some of this chocolatey shade, what is it? name. I think this is Nuts and Dates. I have this on my outer corner today along with some other pieces that I have and I really liked how that just accented the eye look. I think it does a really great job and it blended really well with other shadows that are shimmery or that have different textures than them. I like this. I'm gonna play around with this some more but let's see what people are saying online. Tammy D said I really like this eyeshadow palette but I found that the shadows did have a lot of fallout. There was some fallout that I did notice. Now that usually means that it's a very pigmented shadow so keep that in mind and make sure you blend I do have a fluffy brush that I keep with me at all times when I'm working especially with new palettes and I'm not sure how much fallout I'm gonna get this is a big fluffy brush that has very long bristles that are very loose this is my Luxie 640 Pro Precision tapered brush you can see how like flimsy it is up here when I go back and forth with my finger that gives you the ability to flick off any of the fallout. I love this brush for just that reason because I am a creature of habit where I do my foundation first. It's just how God made me. So I have to improvise when I have fallout and this works really great and nothing stuck to my face and stayed when I just had to wipe it away. Kelly S says nice blendable colors that have good pigmentation. I would not go out and just buy this palette though she said. Chastity D said this palette is gorgeous. Esther O said, this palette is gorgeous and I can't wait to keep using it. Darian N said, so pretty. Super pigmented and I love, it is so smooth. This is getting a lot of love. Some people are saying it's not something they've ever tried or would maybe purchase on their own, so they're kind of excited to get it in a premium box with BoxyCharm. I wanna play with this some more and give you guys some more updates in the future, so stay tuned. 
The price on this actually surprised me though. This one is only $29. So it's not like this is a crazy pricey item anymore. Or maybe it was in the beginning. I don't know. But if this is something that you're interested in and you didn't get the premium or you're still on the wait list, $29 is actually pretty affordable for such a high-end brand. I was surprised at the price. Okay, so something I had no idea what it was or what to do with it is this Matchsticks. This is a Matchsticks Shimmer Skin Stick. Try saying that 10 times fast. The magnetized makeup, because it is apparently magnetized if you have more than one, I think. A magnetized makeup stick in a long wear light as air shimmer formula to highlight and blush and enhance. This long wear cream to powder highlighter stick is weightless, blendable, and loves to be layered. Or lives to be layered. It says both. Um, the shades may vary. This is $25. I got the shade Blonde, which is another very gold shade. Like I said, I got a lot of gold in this particular box. And being a girl that doesn't do a lot of gold, I was like, okay, let's rise to the occasion. So I put this on my shoulders today. I wore this on my shoulders and on my collarbones yesterday. And I think it does a pretty good job of not being as overwhelming as I thought it would. Because when I think of gold, I'm worried I'm going to look like a statue. Either way, I think this is going to be really nice for summer, and it does have some glitter tones to it. There are some pops of the glitter that I do see, so if you're a glitter hater, heads up on that. I think it looks kind of nice. I just hope I don't forget to use it. It is kind of pricey considering. I mean, it's 25 bucks. I'm going to swatch this. This up here is the Trophy Wife Highlighter. I'm just going to do a little swatch or rooski here. Fourth, let you kind of see a little bit of the difference. I was slightly disappointed that they were both gold because I was like, man, I would have been nice to have a little bit of more variety because it kind of feels a little similar. But this one definitely has less sparkles in it. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell from my hand swatch, but down here has a lot less of the like glitter sparkles than the Trophy Wife does up here. I see a lot more of like the actual glitter on this part more so than this part. Tammy D said, I am not a fan of this product. It would lift other products from under it and the color just won't work for me. That is why when she mentions about lifting the products, that's why I don't apply something like this directly to my face and pull it because I've had one too many instances where I've tried that with products and it never works for me personally either. So what I do is either put it on my finger and then tap it, maybe put it on a brush or a sponge, a damp sponge could even work with that. Just apply directly to it, that's a tip and apply to your face, apply to your body, wherever you want. Kelly S says, I'm in my 50s and I got a purple highlighter. I think they meant this one for younger women, she says. Chastity said, not a fan of the color I got, but I love Fenty. Yasmin says, love Fenty, but this item just isn't for me. Erica says, this is actually okay as an eyeshadow, but not a highlighter stick, it's just not her shade. The next thing I want to talk about is something I did get a color that I love, and this is my lipstick. There's a long name with this. Matte Moselle Plush Matte Lipstick. All moods, all skin tones, all day. A pocket perfect lipstick with a long wearing petal soft matte finish available in a rainbow of weightless intense colors. So the shade that I got is the shade Single, even though I'm married. And it is definitely the color I would have wanted. It is more of the nude persuasion because we all know how I do here. And it is really beautiful. And the packaging is really nice. This is very lightweight, but it also had the logo originally on the lip piece, which I was like, that's bougie. That's a expensive product there. Um, and look at the color. It looks really nice. I've been wearing this now for two straight days and with other glosses, obviously, because I got a lot of glosses. But this is such a pretty color. It's creamy without being too creamy. And if you're not sure what I mean, I mean it didn't immediately go on my teeth or all over my face. And how much are you? For a tiny little nugget, this is $18. Oh boy. I like the formula a lot and I like the color I received. And so far, as of day two application and wear time, I like it. Okay, so the first review I'm seeing kind of surprises me, especially at least compared to my experience. Tammy D said this is very, very drying. Made weird lines visible on my lips and the color just didn't work. Hopefully the next brand to take over will have better luck. I did not think this was drying at all. This is so creamy. Like I can still move it and still like play with it. So, hmm. I did not have that problem. Kim T said the color I got was showy and it just doesn't work for me. The lipstick isn't a matte, it's more like a satin finish. The tube is a lot smaller than I thought. Yes, great point. It is more of a satin. When I read matte, 
I immediately thought of drying as well, but when I put this on, it doesn't feel matte at all, and I don't think it looks matte at all. Even on my wrist here, it definitely has a sheen to it. Elizabeth H. Love the consistency of the lipstick. I was not happy though with the color. Tiara C. Said this lipstick glides on like a dream. People are saying they're, they're kind of scoring it lower because they don't like the color, but they're really liking the actual lipstick. Some people are also surprised about the size. I think the packaging is super cute. This is a win for me. So tell me, did you get this box and what lippy did you get? Do you think it's drying or do you think it's like nice? I think maybe it's because I've been wearing it with glosses. I don't give it a chance to get really dry. Maybe that's my thing. That's possible. Cause let's talk about the next thing that I got. This is already a cult favorite apparently. Did you know that? This is the Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. What a long name. This is in the shade Diamond Milk. I think we're all getting this shade, the same shade. Um, this is $19, and I gotta say, I'm gonna put this on top of whatever I got going to. Not sorry. Um, what I like about this is scent is good. A little sweet, little icingy, maybe. The main thing is how juicy and kissable my lips look. You do see the lip transfer like from my lipstick onto it, but I am loving how this looks on and I like how it feels on. It doesn't feel too goopy. It's a little bit more goopy maybe than the Becca that I talked about earlier, but when it sits down and kind of like gets into my lips, if anything, it feels moisturizing and it feels nice and it makes my lips look like a cartoon shiny. You know what I mean? They're calling this a dewy highlight for your lips and I feel like that's a great description of what it looks like in person too. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not one to go out and spend $19 on a gloss ever in my entire life. So the fact that I got this in the premium box is also very exciting. This whole box is exciting to me though. I'm having fun with it. Alicia S said, love it. The gloss is so thick and it stays on and the shimmer really does show up. I feel like I can even see it here in my viewfinder up here. I'm really liking it. Marilisa said, it is so creamy and it does not feel greasy. It doesn't, it doesn't like take over your whole face. I love the gloss says Elmer. It is super shiny and not sticky. I do agree with that. Like my lips aren't pulling together about this at all. Like they just feel moisturizing and like juicy, wet. It's gonna be great for summer. Tammy D said, I love this lip gloss. I love the look and the feel. Ruth V said, love the finish this lip gloss gives off. It does, it's so unique. It feels very different from any other gloss I've really tried. And I hate that kind of hype because I feel like that's just so like hype <laughs> in a way, but it really does look different from anything else I have ever tried. And I'm really loving it. So something I have not tried yet, and it's mostly because I haven't had enough time and I haven't been oily enough, but this is an In Invisa matte blotting paper. It's like this whole little unit and it comes all packaged together. And honestly, I haven't put together, it's like, you know, Ikea makeup. I don't have time to put stuff together some days, but it's uh, a little piece here that I guess you put the paper inside this little container. You put this in your purse, put this wherever you are, maybe even in your car, and then you can blot your makeup through the day. I have a feeling this is gonna live in my handbag, maybe my car, not sure yet, but this is definitely gonna get used. I just got it yesterday and haven't had a chance to, you know, assembly required. I love this so much, says Dakisha. Cute and compact for on the go purposes, says Tiara. Having a little mirror on it too. I love it. There's a mirror on it. Sweet. So compact. I love it, says Eve. It includes a little mirror and a really well-made dispensing system, which can be refilled. The actual blotting papers themselves aren't as good as some other brands though, including cheaper ones. Ooh, I'll let you know if I agree. This is my first like premium box and I feel a little spoiled that it was the Fenty box. I didn't even think I was going to be getting that so I was really really excited. I, I really like a lot of this stuff and even the stuff that I normally would be like oh, I wouldn't purchase on my own a trophy wife highlighter that's really blingy and kind of sparkly. Even though I, that maybe wouldn't have been my jam that I'd go purchase, I like that I can try it and play with it as like this set with this Fenty little box. You know what I mean? Now let's jump into the last box because I feel like this is probably already really long. How you doing? You need a break, intermission, you gotta pee. Go ahead and pause it, but come right back. Because we have more giveaways to talk about. Oof. Speaking of, let's talk about the Boxy Lux box. Now this Boxy Lux is different because usually with Boxy Lux, we get these massively large wide boxes, wide and tall, but this time it was more of a narrow thick 
box. If you're not a fan of spoilers, you may not know that when I did get a choice for my Luxie box, Boxy Lux, I always do that, I chose the Tarte Pro Remix. But apparently, according to you guys, when I let you know that I picked this as my choice thing, I guess they didn't have a lot of those because some people are saying they never got this as a choice or something along those lines. So I'm not too sure what that was about, but this is what I ended up getting. I haven't really liked the Amazonian clay line that I have received from BoxyCharm. I was really excited, and when I looked this up on line for reviews a lot of people were comparing this to some eyeshadow palettes that I did not have that they all loved so I was really excited to see that I was like I don't have anything like this in my collection so it's kind of nice to add something new in and I am wearing this today along with some other stuff as well because I ended up getting two eyeshadow palettes in this box I ended up getting also the hello charmer boxy charm eyeshadow palette because I guess they're doing their own makeup now is that right yeah, distributed by BoxyCharm, made in Miami. So that was kind of exciting. I absolutely had to delve into this too. But first, let's talk about the one I picked. Today, I went into these nude shades over here because I am familiar with some of the Tarte formulas, but I know they all vary, especially since this is the Amazonian clay version. Um, they were very similar to other Amazonian clay eyeshadows that I've received from Boxy in the past. So I was familiar with those, but when I got over here to these jewel toned shimmers, I was like, please and thank you. I put spin on my crease today after I worked up some of the matte shades and it's really, really pretty. Like I told you, I did marry some Fenty onto the outer corner here, but the lid here is this inspiration shade, super pretty. And I wanted to dive into this green shade ever since I watched a video on it. And I put that under my eyes and the color and the spread and the pigment was delicious. I, I don't say that about makeup a lot, but I was like, can I eat this? It's so pretty. And then I put the gold on top of it to add that extra zhuzh and it's even prettier. The size of this mirror makes me super happy because it is really, really nice and it came in super handy while I was putting on all these eyeshadows. And there's more shades in here that I'm dying to jump into, but since so many of them are kind of that gold tone and I felt like I was already dealing with golds the other day and I still need to play with more, I wanted to give myself, like I needed to pace myself with all these eyeshadow palettes. And I feel like the most majority of the makeup I got was a lot of eyeshadow palettes this month for sure. So I still need to play with some more of these shades, but I am super happy with this palette so far. And I've only played with it today today. I'm just going to touch more of the shades just because I want to know how they're looking. <laughs> how you doing? We're swatching for fun. Holy cow. I did not expect that to look like that. That's really pretty. It's a more of a lilac -y purple than I thought. <gasps> oh, the bread, the, the blend, the spread, all of it. These are just like impromptu swatches with nothing on my arm at all. <gasps> Ah, I love, 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 love. So excited. This is how excited I get about makeup. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Sarah M said, I really love this palette. From the packaging, the color selection, the color payoff, everything is spot on, she says. I wish there was a few more mattes, but overall awesome. Nice to have some cooler toned products for once. Yes, good point. Um, there are like two mattes here that are very universal transition shades that most people want to start with and that's what I started with because it's really all I felt I had. Everything else is very shimmery so do keep that in mind if you got this or you're getting this or you're wanting to get it because you didn't get it maybe for your choice and you want to go buy it. It does just have two mattes but a lot of great cool tones. It's going to make a lot of great beautiful natural looks and some bold looks. That's hard to pull off in a palette and it is succeeding. Cindy with an S said such a pretty palette and I was surprised by the color payoff from this palette. Kelly S said absolutely beautiful palette so many great looks that you can create with this. You could go neutral, you could go bold, you could do so much. There, oh shoot. Sorry if you heard that fan that whole time. My camera's been overheating so I'm trying to cool it off. This eyeshadow palette I was a little nervous about because when a company starts their own eyeshadow line or game or makeup or whatever you're kind of like how's this gonna go? I don't know. You're, you're like the distributor for other brands. You don't have your own brand. This could be interesting. So when this showed up at my door in my boxy looks, I was like, ho oh, damn, let's do this. So yesterday I wiped off all of my Fenty eyeshadow and it wasn't because I didn't like what was going on. I really liked what I had going on and I was a little sad about it, but for the love of the reviews and the love of the art and for makeup, 
I had to know before today. I went into the shade Cup of Joe, which is kind of this neutral brown shade. And if you don't know, Joe is the owner, Cup of Joe. Ha! <laughs> Plan words. So I swirled this around in my crease and in my outer corner, and it did a great job blending and spreading. I know I used a little bit of spoiler. I think I used that in the upper part and that really blew out that more yellow and orangey tone more than I thought. I was like, dang, these are pigmented. Wasn't expecting, okay, sorry. I will not underestimate you again. Also went into unboxing for a little bit of the outer corner to kind of warm it up because that tends to work better on my personal eye shape. And I could not not put my finger into swipe up. It is the most pink, sparkle, green iridescent tone ever and now I'm putting my finger in it again just because I had to do it because I'm talking about it and it's like I have to and it's it's like jelly it feels like a wet jelly look at the glitter look at the zhuzh holy balls and on the eye it was just as pretty I was shocked so then I was realizing how many of those I had in here and I was like I, I need some time. I gotta play with this. I need more eyeballs. Can I just put some more on my face? Because I need to try more of these shades. I felt the same way about this and this. I don't have enough face for all this makeup right now and I'm so excited to play with it. These more neutral shades really made me wish I had just done like a bronzy goddess look because they come off so stunning. Hold on, running out of arm room here. But like, oh my gosh, these, oh wait, that's the pink one. I This one, okay, here we go lot of these bronzy beautiful tones here a lot we're working with i want to play with this more before i give like an absolute review but like these tones are just i think you could do a neutral look you could do a bold look you got a lot of options i mean i'm excited to play with this and i was honestly a little hesitant like how how's this gonna go holy cow i had no idea that the price on this was $39. Oh. Okay, so Claudette is less impressed with the glitter that I am impressed with because she said, I don't like that there is glitter in this palette. It's not something that I will ever use. Janice O says, great colors and it all stays on. I know this is so like gel-like and like, I don't know how to describe this texture that you wouldn't think you're like worried this is gonna come off. It did not. Jessica M said, I am happy to have a BoxyCharm palette and the colors are in all caps, beautiful. But, you knew there was a but coming. Some of the shades aren't true to color and it looks like I dug my brush into two shimmer shades. I only used them once. Excited to experiment with this though and I am happy to have this BoxyCharm product. Melanie said the colors are beautiful and intense. Ooh, so Brittany G gave this a low score of two hearts on the BoxyCharm website and said, I used seven of these shades and only two of them were great. Lots of fallout and kick up. Swipe up completely fell apart when I used it on my finger and that is this pink shade I was just telling you about here. They would have been better off using only their best shades in a quad or a six pan palette versus all of this. I did not have the problem with this, but this is more of a topper. I did have a color underneath it. So maybe because I went into the shade boxy, I think, to add a little punch to it and then put it on top of that so it would have more pow. Um, I don't know. I'm going to play with this some more. Maybe it falls off more and I just haven't messed with it as much. I'm still really impressed with the finger swatch and the arm swatch here gives you, you know, kind of a representation that it's more of a topper. Like you can see it here, but it accents what it's on top of. Nicole H said, I love the colors in this palette, but I'm getting overwhelmed with eyeshadow palettes right now. <laughs> I feel that. I feel like maybe I need a support group or an intervention, but I don't, I don't want to go. I don't want to be part of it. Super duper excited to say in my boxy luxe, I also got some more of something that I've had in the past and one new. These are the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum and Coco Cabana Cream Duo. $15 MSRP. We have gotten a Brazilian Bum Bum from BoxyCharm before. This little guy, I used him up, got another one. I talked about that recently that I do love these. Um, but I did not get previously the Coco Cabana one that I heard people say smelled like popcorn or something. <sighs> smells pretty tasty not gonna lie I love these creams I they're they're like you know lotions moisturizers and being winter I know some people were a little disappointed that this felt like a little bit of a repeat I don't mind it personally but I'm in personally needing some lotions for my leggies right now and my arms and stuff and this smells great it smells like you're at the beach and who doesn't want to pretend they're at the beach when it's you know 
March. For sake of time, because I already feel like this is probably a really long video, most of us have gotten these before and really love them, but if you have not tried these, I can tell you these are a cult favorite following, specifically the Bum Bum Cream. Love, love, love. Some people call it Boom Boom Cream. I know there's a proper way to say it, but I'm not very proper. I really like these and a lot of people do. 15 bucks, loving them. Okay, something that is going to be going into the giveaway is a NARS lipstick. Oh yeah, I said it, NARS. I've never even tried this brand, so I was really tempted to keep it for myself, but I got a lot in here. And my lippy game is kind of ridiculous right now, and adding another thing to my collection would be hard. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. $25 for a lipstick? Tell me that it also does my dishes, you know? So this one is in the shade Wild Night, and I'm not gonna swatch it because I'm giving this to one of you guys. Such bougie, pretty packaging. So pretty. It looks like it might be more of a purple tone, maybe just more of a burgundy. I can't tell through this, but I'm going to insert a swatch here for you that I found online. I will not be swatching this because I'm giving this to you, but this is such bougie packaging. So nice, but I know I'm not going to probably reach for this lip color at all, and my lippies, I have too many at this moment, so I really need to go through what I've got. So this is going to be in the giveaway. Almost kept for myself, but highlighter game is strong. I feel like I got a lot of highlighters, so this is going to be going in the giveaway too. This is the Becca Skin Love Glow Glaze Stick. And I gotta tell you, at first I was like, oh, a glow stick, I'm probably not gonna want this. But I was like, Becca though is known to do stuff right. And I love their highlighters. You know how much pan I've hit on Becca highlighters. It's not even embarrassing because I'm proud. But this color looks so nice. I've not swatched it, not touched it, just showing you the color. This is going to be going in my giveaway. It seems like such a nice neutral tone. So I think this is going to work for a lot of skin tones. I'm going to be putting this into the giveaway. And this guy is $28. So going in the giveaway. Also, I have gotten some of these nail polishes before and I love this brand. This is Deborah Lipman. If you are unfamiliar, I raved about this, I think from a boxy Lux over a year ago, how much I enjoyed it. I loved it. I thought it was the most stunning, but long lasting nail polish, which sounds ridiculous if you're not someone who struggles with that, but nail polish always takes forever to dry on me and never lasts. This brand did and does. These are in the shade Fire on the Horizon and Can't Stop the Feel, and it's like a two tones of pink, a paler pink and a deeper pink. They're really nice, but since I go and get my nails done and I'm usually either using a dip powder or a gel, I don't really use these a lot. And I thought I want to share the love because this is a great brand. So going in the giveaway. Ooh, so I've gotten a smaller one of these before in a, gosh, it was like a Christmas uh, advent calendar years ago. This is the PMD Beauty Smart Facial Cleansing Device. I have a small one of these that's like only half the size and it's only like a base piece of it. So this is like a whole wand. It does come with a battery as well. And I used it this morning. I was really surprised using this with some of my regular like cleansing in the morning skincare. How nice this is, how good it feels. And it has several different settings of vibration to like get your face going and stimulate your face as you're cleaning it. It's really, really nice. The description on this is kind of impressive too. A smart facial cleansing device with over 7,000 vibrations per minute. Our sonic glow technology not only ensures a deep cleanse, but provides a way to lift, firm, and tone problem areas for a more youthful appearance. Please and thank you on this face. I need all the help I can get. I used this this morning with just my regular skincare and it did a great job and I could definitely feel through the different types of vibration it does. Can you hear it? It has different settings. Laura R said, I am so hyped for this product. I love good skincare tools. Orly said, this tool is amazing. Dixie said, one heart. It didn't work, so I contacted BoxyCharm. I will change my review once I receive that, and yes, I did try several batteries. Hmm, so reach out to them if yours isn't working. Mine worked immediately, and there is a battery that comes with it. Kelly S. says, excellent product. I really enjoy using it. She uses it with moisturizer in the morning to put it on. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think we're down to the very last product, finally, after 20 years. You still here? You, did you take a break? Did you take a nap? Did you eat something? These are my other choice options. The only other choice I had once I picked the eyeshadow palette was either these metal straws or a peel liner. 
If you've been here a while, you know how I feel about a peel liner, so that wasn't even a conversation. I got the metal straws. I do have a lot of paper straws, but I am thinking I will just probably replace those with this because, you know, tiny house living, minimal storage space, this will be nice to have. I don't think I missed anything, but this is a lot of products. Three boxes to go through. Oh my goodness. So, the giveaway. There are five items in this giveaway that will be coming to you. Again, as a reminder, this is the Spongile French Lavender Body Wash Infused Buffer. Deborah Lipman Nail Polishes. I do really like these. Fast drying nail polish. Shut up. That's a thing. Becca Skin Love Highlighting Stick. The NARS Lipstick in the shade Wild Night. And this Hank and Henry Eyeshadow Palette. Guys, I love my BoxyCharms. They are my favorite videos to do. You know that. I know that. So there is a lot to go through here and more wear tests to be had. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, a lot of different ways I want to try these products because maybe they're not something I would normally try, but I want to mix it up. I want to try things on the body, on the face, different. I love it. To see my upcoming quarterly reviews where I dig even deeper into all these products and I feel like those videos are also going to be a little longer the more products I'm getting in. Three boxes this month. Woo! And I still got my Ipsy to go through this month. Lots of good things coming, so be sure you don't miss out. So if you are new here, hi new friends. I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you can see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I do every single week. Bye friends.